Zašto je ni čafu? Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on whatever time you'll be watching this video. And by the way, we thank you for the new subscribers. To those who have not subscribed, sijam nangoja nini yake guys. You're watching content for free and it's not fair. Subscribe, like, share, comment and tutakuwa on the right track. So today I have a not really a guest but a co-host. And the topic today will be quite interesting. Let, let the guest introduce himself and then we will just jump right into it. Okay, thank you. My sister Susan and my friend. My name is Emmanuel, aka God with us. And we are so <laughs> pleased today to be here. And welcome to today's episode. This will be very interesting because this, uh, it's a live journey, something that we have been observing from every corner. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, stay there, don't go. Let's discuss together. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe and to send a comment. Okay. Yeah, so you're welcome. And our topic today will be the shortcomings or the negative impacts of social media to individuals and of course to Christianity because we things are tough. Mambo ime chemka. So Manu, hmm. kick us off. Okay, now we are having this question. The negative impacts of social media now on this topic and uh, at large we have seen the we have uh, social media has brought about positive things and has also brought about negative things if we look at the positive side first before we get into the negative part which is our main the positive part at least we as christians we can reach out to many people as we preach the gospel on the other hand, you can reach out to many and call them to Christ. Because remember, Jesus said that I have sent you to the world so that you can uh, make people disciples. So in this social media, it has meant us as Christians to reach more people, reach more souls in a jiffy within no time. And so today we are trying to look at the negative impact of the same when it comes to Christian life. And here is the first question. What is the most negative part of social media when it comes to Christianity? And this. Teach me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think the first one should be dressing. Uh -huh. The dressing code. Dressing code? Yeah. Okay. Because, oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> Ungekuwa Ashazon is a small kwa mlango wa rudishe kila mtu home mwenye amevaa vibaya. Hey. I'm sure church ingekuwa na watu 10. Hey. wow. Dress code. Dressing code. And by the way, a negative part of this dressing code. What has the dressing code as what has it brought to this life of Christianity or to the body of Christ? Well, first, mm -hmm. before social media, I think things were very right. Mm -hmm. Things were very straight. Mm -hmm. Also, kiangalia wimbo za kina Ros Muhando mm -hmm. and the rest back then. Yeah. The dressing code was very decent, I mm -hmm. can say. Okay. And it represented Christ, by yeah. the way. Because mm -hmm. Christianity is all about the lifestyle, right? Okay. Very it's true. not about the preaching and all that. You can preach through your lifestyle. Yeah. It's not a lot of and like... I want that God that he serves. So point number one, Christianity is a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. Good. So now when we talk about dress code and the social media and the Christianity, these things, they work together. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, today, as we venture into churches, we see the way people just go to church, the way they just dress in our miniskirts, trousers, the way they just feel like, mm -hmm. and they are saying that they are just comfortable. What do you think about this? Okay, the thing behind it is mm. Mungu anafuata roho sio mwili. Mungu anafuata roho. Yeah, Mungu anangalia roho, not the dressing code. See, that's what we say. But the Bible tells us that we should present our bodies as a living sacrifice. 
Yeah, we know, but I want to dress like Diana B to the church. It's a designer cloth. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now. Bought with a lot of money. Yeah. Nataka congregants uko wende wanyone <laughs> as Mrs. Pastor. And you smart. I have makeup here, 10,000. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that is interesting. So most of the people when you, when they, that they go to church, they are not mostly going there to worship God. No. They are just there to be saved. Currently, it's about showing off. Showing off. Yeah, that I have made it. And they're making friends. Yeah. Oh. Not even friends. It's yeah. actually friends. Uh-huh. Not they need the people who they can be called when they have issues they can meet together uh-huh. they friends. can chat call friends <laughs> <Yeah>. friends <laughs> so now we can see that uh, it has really changed the dress code of people mm-hmm. and uh, and mostly as well when we are talking about christianity we are just looking at the body of christ yeah. remember I- the bible tells us the what that Anything that you do, anything that you say, you shall stand before the throne and you shall give an accountability uh-huh. of that. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh, you had something to say? Oh, I was saying there is a video I saw on TikTok. Yeah. It was a present worship lady. Uh-huh. She was singing those blessed ladies, mm. dancing, dancing, moving her bodies. And men were like, which church is this? Because I want to be part <laughs> of it. Actually, Nataka Kusmama di kwa pulpit. I was like, oh my God. Uh-huh. It's not about the heart or it's not about the song that is being sung mm-hmm. in a lead to that space. Mm-hmm. It's about the lady mm-hmm. singing the song. The body. Yeah, and oh. the body. And did you know that men are embraced by what they say? So mm-hmm. that is the weakness of men. Men are always uh, they are embraced mostly with what they see. When you dress well, they see you. When you dress bad, they, they say this person does not dress bad. That's why you see that the devil as the, the the Bible tells us that we should not be conformed to the world to the pattern of the world. That is the um, Romans twelve. Yes, we should not be conformed to the pattern of the world, but we should be transformed by the renewal of the mind. So. What I think on this uh, perception that is that um, when it comes to Christianity, people are just narrowed down to God looks at the heart. Yeah, not the dressing. Not the dressing mm-hmm. code. But at, at the same time, we have these questions. Now, what do you think one should do as a Christian about a dress code? It's written in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Van Gogh Vizuri, mm-hmm. Van Vizuri. Church na trouser, it's mm-hmm. not good. But apo kwa trouser, I, I also have questions sometimes. <laughs> you can put on a trouser that is not tight, mm-hmm. but to some extent, I feel like the trouser is much better than going I mean, to church with a mini skirt. Mm. What do you think? Okay. I think one thing, when it comes to the so-called dressing, number one, one I think I know is that uh, when you are close to God, God will give you and help with the teacher. Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So anything that you do, the Holy Spirit is a person. The only thing that the Holy Spirit lacks is this body. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit knows everything. So when we say that the Holy Spirit is a person, so it means that Holy Spirit can can actually speak to you. And the moment you ask the Holy Spirit, "What should I do?" Then you you are you are your spirit your spiritual ears are open. You can hear from Him. What to, what to do. Remember, it is a choice one makes to do. But now, we have come to this generation whereby people, they are just photocopying from the social media. Mm. That's why we are there. And now, when we are talking about photocopying, now it is something that you see and it looks like good. Remember, the packages of, uh, of the devil, they are just like, uh, they, they are just good. They, they are so good in the visual way. Mm-hmm. They look so good. Just look at how they do. Just go to clubs and see these people, how, how smart they are. You just look at them, you just see the packaging, the, the way they are packaged because of whom they are working for. Uh-huh. But now, you want to go to church and you know the packaging that you are, you, you, the, way, the way you are packaging yourself, it is not actually, actually it is not good. Remember, cleanliness is go- is secondly to godliness. Yeah. So smartness and the godliness they will walk hand in hand. We are not saying that uh, that uh, you should not dress uh, the way you, you you want. You cannot just dress with the way you want. No, there is a way that you need to do it, and the only way that you can do it right is through the help of the Holy Spirit. I know so many people are asking, well, will the will the Holy Spirit come from heaven and tell you don't dress this one? Remember. The what is in the heart 
is actually what comes out of the mouth. Uh -huh. So what you fill your heart with, if you fill your heart with the, with God and godliness and the, uh, and the, and the um, righteousness, then the Holy Spirit of Himself will be guiding you. So if you figure that you are God, you will be able to guide you. You will be able to guide you. You see, and now, now you can ask yourself, so if I dress like this, I should not go to church. No, 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 no. I have not seen that you should not go to church. But now let's go into the, let's not go, to, go into that one. So what you may say, ma'am, the first uh, impression of, um, of the social media, which has brought about Christianity, is the change of dress code. Yes. And do you think that uh, this kind of dress code has made people to come away from God or near to God? What do you think? Okay, when you're doing it, mm. you won't exactly know that you are going against God's, is it commands or God's demands? Mm -hmm. Is it really demand? Does God demand? God will. <laughs> God's, <coughs> excuse me. God's will. Because you will turn that and I'm going with the world. After all, I'm going with the world. So you just dress. Okay, the thing is, we dress leo tanipata kazi na mini skirt but when we meet in church mm -hmm. nimevaa either dera mm -hmm. ama ngwe imefuko uko chini kabisa uh -huh. so for us it's it's not even about it's not about the heart mm -hmm. it's not about the heart yani ni it's just a lifestyle okay leo acha ni vibe but nikienda church mm -hmm. i'll be different okay wow now eh uh, Whatever you're watching us, I know you have questions and you need answers. And we are here, we are just discussing this. And we know that many people, they just like what they see and they just like to do what they want to do because of what they go through and what yeah. they have seen others doing. Please, my brother, my sister, whatever you are watching us, remember that don't do things because others are doing it. Just do it because it pleases God. So number one, ensure that whatsoever you do, the way you dress, it should please God, not men. Mm -hmm. So men will not take you anywhere. Yeah, that's right. But when you please God, at least you are assured of eternity. So anything that you do and it is not in comply the word of God, you just leave it. Yeah, and I believe we are all we are all old enough. Uh -huh. to know the right and the, and wrong. the wrong so the choice that you make it is only your choice it is not people's opinion and it you is your choice and you will be accountable for it for yeah. sure oh. trust me wow yeah so uh, as you continue social media negativity uh the negative part of uh, social media tells the uh, what can you do you think it has brought about breakages yes. of marriages relationships <laughs> what do you think wow Mm -hmm. Wow, apo kwa marriages na relationship. <laughs> Nasikia hata kusema soko ni chafu. <laughs> soko ni chafu. <laughs> mhm. Mm and I think it's ni chafu kwa sababu ya ni sisi tumeifanya kuwa chafu in okay. the first place. Au cuz mm -hmm. our tastes have changed. It's mm -hmm. no longer about love. Mm -hmm. Caring, affection and all that. Okay. It's all about Money, baby, money, 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 relationships currently. I don't know if it's in Kenya alone or it's countrywide. You make a business worldwide, mm -hmm. it's like a business, yeah. And I think it's the pressure on social media, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Miona, I will always give an example of Diana B because I've watched her content for the longest time. Mona Diana B me bayu gari. Yeah, na jatu vizuri ninja wake ni wamjengo. But ona taka gari, ju Diana B me bayu gari na bahati. So your ninja is getting five hundred per day. Unexpect up your toy five. Lamborghini ni pesa ngapi? Hey, hey, ni pita kada ba? Eh, would at, at, uh, live alone even Lamborghini. Right now there is no a motorbike ile to local that is below 120,000. So unataka atoe wapi? He's earning 500 per day. more than 100,000. Eating itself is a problem. Dressing itself is a problem, but you want to live a life like Diana B. 
whose husband has been in the industry for the longest time <laughs> so he knows the ins and out of how to get money yeah ninja yako hanata nini is he's not even a graduate like anata what can you say ana ile qualification ya kukua yeah hana ile qualification or he doesn't have a job that is giving him much yeah but the expectations because your social media mm. it's too much so you just end up breaking up for no good reason hanga ni pale lifestyle nilikuwa nataka yourself you cannot afford half the lifestyle that you want okay so don't expect aje another person to give it to you it will be difficult very difficult so the social media now it has exposed people to start seeing other people's lives over expectations And over expectation mm-hmm. wow So this kind of a, this over expectation should it be in a Christian person because now actually we are not uh, discussing about Christianity only but we are basing it in a way that everyone is touched because yeah. as we can see in many relationships just to look at the ones which have broken what you will hear is that ah, that man was broke that man could not meet my standard True. that that uh, that man is not of my class And the, the person who is saying the class is a is a D plus person. No, But let's because, not let's not run narrow down to uh, education. <laughs> and uh, 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 or in other words, let me just put like the, okay, let, okay. This person when he is uh, hiding somewhere or in his in her own house, she's eating uh, beans and rice. Yeah. But outside there does not want a man who will buy uh, beans and rice. Oh. He wants a man who will provide for pizza. Exactly. Then, so in other words now, this social media it has given people life that they want to live but at um in it behind the scenes the life they are not able to to, yeah. to, to live it. Mm-hmm. So now this uh, brings about this uh, much expectation from people. So now you it, this person it is either will start now trying men several mm-hmm. to see whoever will be able to to get. afford the lifestyle. And by the way, if it is a uh, sura We don't care guys, do we? Eh? Do we? Eh? We don't care. Tell eh? these men that we don't care about <laughs> the sura. <laughs> so it, it's about money. We can go for plastic surgeries by the way. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> That's too bad. We eh? can go for plastic surgeries uh-huh. as long as money is involved. We good. That's why you'll find a 23 18 year old and atembea na mbaba wa 75 years. It's just okay. Yeah, they are okay as long as money is involved. Mm. Sauti so Sol said, mm. "Erinilia kwenye Range Rover." Mm. Kuliko nicheke kwenye boda boda. Mhm. Eh. Now, in in in, our, in the Christian body. Now, things have changed because of the kind of things that we are seeing in the world. Now it has it has be it has confirmed many from the love of Christ from the, from with that control of um, uh, what do you call it nataka ajile kutosheleka ile kutosheleka watu wamekosa kuwa na kutosheleka for the little that uh, so people are lacking to have contentment of their lives but now they start desiring many that's why you find now nowadays most of the youth they are looking to get money anywhere anyhow yeah. whatever whatever thing they want to do, they can do for them to any stuff they can do mm-hmm. for them to get money so now that's why because the social media because this platform it has exposed much and they remember the person who is exposing this that person already has made it in his own life But maybe But, they have not made or it. They, they are not. just faking or exactly. is utona kona gari yeah. maybe she or she or he mm-hmm. is just a brand ambassador mm-hmm. amepewa to your gari a market yeah. But then no no na hey, hey, this man I want this one I want this, this one yeah mm-hmm. So that's where the Bible says uh, contentment is very key when it comes to a life of a man So today we are encouraging people outside there that do not just look the appearance of what you see from others don't let that appearance attract you to unnecessary pressure yeah right because we know you know even the devil himself will appear as an angel of light 
to show you the good things. And remember, even Jesus was tempted. He told him what? Just to look how the world looks like. Uh, he showed him everything. Yeah. And he told it him, wash like it me and I'll give you everything. It's all mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what, now what people they are doing today, they are watching the social, the social, the social, the social media to gain what they want. Uh, but they forget about the consequences of what they are looking for. Mm -hmm. It's in deal. Mm -hmm. So now we are to, we are just encouraging ourselves in the word of God that the little that we have, we should be contented with it. Right. And now, if you need more, go to God, ask from the Lord. Now the Bible tells us that anything that you shall do, it shall prosper. Anything that He does, it prospereth. This is person Manyana Pendamungu. This person that loves God. So now, when you have that right relationship and that right standing with God, whenever whatever you shall do, it shall be prosperous. So outside there, don't allow the social media to turn your mind away from trusting in God mm -hmm. because I think it has many people, many people, to move their faith from Christ to start focusing on the things instead of focusing on Christ, yeah, by the way. Material. Material. Yes. So this gives us the third point or the fourth point of what the social media has brought, the negative impact, impact of social media. What has it brought? It has brought about the coldness of spirit to Christians. What do you think? Coldness of In uh, like people, they were yeah. so much in God. They love to do the, the, the godly things more. So they are but turning away they from They are turning it. away from that because of the impact on what is coming from the social media. Have you seen such kind of scenarios? Well, I'll say is because of the much, much exposure of information mm -hmm. or rather like pastors wamekua waongo to an extent of I almost reached to a point of wacha nike kwa nyumba I can read the Bible I can pray. I was taught how to pray. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't even sure of which church should I go to. Ukisikia uyu kanyare, ukienda ni muongo. Kidogo kidogo, it's about Ezekiel. Kidogo kidogo, it's about, you know all those people. Watakwambia, oh, kujua ni kuombe and all that. So people have taken it to be like, acha nikai. Acha nikai. Ni kuombua si vibaya? But that thing of Kuja na sadaka Or How do I so say it? Yes you can get those people Mwenye atakwekelea mkono mm -hmm. On a genuine note mm -hmm. Atakuombea You will take time to heal mm -hmm. Because we believe in Like God is not time bound mm -hmm. yeah. But then there is this other Ezekiel mm -hmm. Mwenye ya na kuombea Sina offend Like no offense to Ezekiel you are a man of God and I respect that. But yet a kuombea, today ya kwekele mkono and you are healed. Then there is your pastor wa Nairobi Chapel. Yet a kuombea, but you might take years or months to heal. So who do you go to? That's tricky. So, we are saying that uh, people have been taken away from social uh, by social media Exposure from the truth so much information from the truth of the word of god now remember what the, uh, what does the bible say it says that there are so many people who shall come in my name mm -hmm. they shall cast out demons mm -hmm. they shall uh, show you the the light mm -hmm. but the light is not in them so don't be like shanghai when you see these things happen Welcome back guys as we are winding up so you can send your comment you can send uh, you can subscribe you can like and i know you can share this to another person it will be of great help back to our discussion mm -hmm. where were we we were talking about social media leading christians or rather non-christians to stop believing in god or okay. to turn away from god to those yeah. who are christians that mm -hmm. is yeah, and we had said that it's due to so it's due to so much exposure of information through social media. Okay. Like me growing up, I never knew there were people called atheists. <laughs> Not only to evil. Yeah. Atheists. Yeah. People who don't even believe in God. Yeah. And 
Sa YouTube ni bure, TikTok ni bure, hizo vitu zote ni bure. So someone will just come up from nowhere. He or she doesn't believe in God. He knows or she knows everything about Christianity. But yeah, li amwato. This is all fake lies. Do you do you think that these people they don't know about God? They know. They That's know. why I'm saying they know everything about Christianity. <laughs> but they just chose like a uh, screw. Then it's not real. Bible says that uh, they have ears but they cannot hear. Yeah. They have eyes but they don't see. Yeah. Isn't you? And again, they know the truth but they deny the power in that truth. So, this person knows this that there is no god, there is no devil, there is no what. You are just comforting yourself. The truth is there is heaven and there is hell and they know. This is the question they ask. Yeah. Can you see god? Okay. You believe in him because the bible says no, that they is ask, faith. Can you see god? You are like no, but I know he exists. Yes. Can you touch god? <laughs> no. But I know he exists, and they're like, science has proven. Emanuela was the one saying it. Anything if, that you cannot touch and you cannot see does not. Exist. That's why we, we 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 live by faith, not by sight. That's why the Bible tells us that our faith, it is faith, not sight, what tells you about God. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So now this social media has made people to hear more of lies, mm -hmm. more of the world, worldliness, more of um, of the things which are not of God. So which has made which has made them not to focus on God. Yeah. Because you remember what you feed your mind with daily, it is actually what the kind of life you will conform yeah, you'll conform you to. You will be you transformed become. that life. Yeah. Yes. So now today, in this life of Christianity. We are saying that uh, the social media, it has brought about people not believing in God. And why do, do, do these people not believe in God? Not because they don't want, no, but because there are things that are happening which are confusing them. Yeah. And remember, the Bible tells us that you need to have the gifts of the Spirit. And one of the very important gift is the gift of discernment. Yeah right now today how can you discern when you don't have the holy spirit it will be very difficult okay. how can you have the holy spirit when you don't when you have not received christ yeah, it will be very pray, difficult you, you see word, yeah. so now this person what i can say about these people or what i can say about those people who are outside there who are not believing in god or who, who, who their faith has gone back you remember backsliding also is in the world and we are seeing people who are very strong in the word of God. At the end of the day, they have backslided. Maybe because the expectations were never met. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't follow God because of expectation of material things from God. Follow God because you love God. Mm -hmm. It is the heart that loves God. Remember, God weighs the spirit. That is Proverbs 16. God will have to weigh your spirit. Are you following? Are you? Am I following God because of what I see, or am I following God because of material gain? Many people today they are following God because of material, material gain. Now, let's not go into that. Let's go back to our point, which was the many people who have been taken away from God. The, by the social media so these people now they believe more of what they see than hearing from god let me tell you the voice of the devil is always very loud but the voice of god is always very small and still yeah they say <laughs> packaging ya shetani ni maridadi hey, hey, <laughs> maridadi kabisa <laughs> yeah but god's timing is Always the best. The best. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's never for free. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so but all the same, don't come to Christ because you're suffering. Exactly. That's when you are like, let me go back to Christ. And if that is the only way that God can use to, to call you back, it's remember, fine. He will call you back. Because God does not want anyone to perish. Yeah. That is, 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 is what, does not want anyone to perish. 
but now the work of the devil is to deviate you so that you can never see the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. Imagine the devil knows how heaven looks like, so he knows very well. He knows. And the moment he decided that I will make sure that no one comes to this place, he knew he, knew, he knows how the, how good the place is. Only that we live by faith. Mm-hmm. So now we believe that, the, that that place is very good because you cannot tell me this place is not good and you won't want me to go there. Mm-hmm. So why are you rejecting me? Why are you why are you standing against me not going there? Because it is very Nitamu, nitamu ile uchoyo. Kofi kofi iti ya. Kwa nini ukule chenye nakula? Kwa so kaa pale hivyo. That's all no na. Just to watch it. Kula kwa macho. See how it is. Why? Na sisi, we who are in Christ, we refuse to, we refuse to just uh, here only. But we are walking with God and we are keeping this so that we can enter into that place which the devil does not yeah. want us to enter. Yeah. So stray very hard. Make sure that you are in the line with God. So don't allow social media weigh you down because of what you hear. Don't allow the things that you see on social media pull you back from God. Instead, continue with more prayer, with more reading of the Word of God, with more studying of the Word of God, and mostly having the Holy Spirit of God will guide you to make the right choice. What do you think as as we finalize? What do you think... uh, uh, it's one of the impact of social media into the lives of people, which is negative to Christianity. Negative impact. Yeah. There are so many, so, so many, <laughs> especially to this generation, the Gen Zs. <laughs> I feel like they are getting too much. What can I say? How can I put it? These small, small kids, like when I the information, I and like, <laughs> are you talking to me? So it is making you children to be to adults me? when they but are adults. But still, it goes to the point of too much information, too much access to information. Okay. But say, I think it's being controlled. There's a boy an iPad, and you still control whatever the kid is consuming. Okay. So you're t- on that side, I think things are getting much better. Okay. But upper kwa mandoid relationship, it's where things are just getting haywire. So now but in this relationship, God, ah, we pray to I think God that, that is everything. a topic we need to handle on its own. So guys, please, let's not get into this. Just give us a, <laughs> a, a, a moment. Eh? Please, you just share. Okay, you can just highlight a very little about relationship and uh, we just close it and then we just come for that episode. I think. What do you think? All I can say is that mm. a relationship that has a foundation in Christ, mm. it won't be shaken by money. Mm-hmm. It won't be shaken by all the worldly things and material things. Mm. It will grow strong, obvious, mm-hmm. and they will fight. And finally, they will win the race. Wow. Yeah. So, social media and relationships. So, guys, wherever you are watching us, I'm co host and uh, Today, she has been with me in the studio and we have been discussing this. So may the Lord bless you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Those who have liked, those who have sent their comment, please. That's the only way that you can support us. Guys, those who are outside there, continue praying for us so that we can reach more people through this channel. So God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Finally, Mark. I don't have much to say until next time. Bye. Bye.